Welcome back to Silverun on FS22 with me, MG83. Hello, hello, and we're back in Silver Run. And the snow has finally settled on the ground. After threatening for a long time, it's finally have a snow covering on the ground, which I can already tell you has made it pretty treacherous traveling around the roads around here. As you can see, my money has gone up. Since the last video, I sold, I think, four loads of wood chips. I saw the lime that I made from breaking the rocks that I, that I put into the uh, lime production facility. I sold some uh, rolls of metal. And I also done a couple of uh, wood transport jobs around the area. Now, one of the things I said I was going to do in the last video was sell some ore. Now I distinctly remember when I was watching one of Mr. CDP's YouTube videos, his playthrough in Silver Run, that he sold ore and made a pretty decent amount of money of it. So I installed a set everything container on the map. I brought a load of ore there, and as you can tell. It sells for nothing. Zero. So I don't know whether that's just something new, a uh, change since the last update for the game or whatever, but. Or, apart from bringing it to the uh, iron furnace, is worthless at the moment on the map. Maybe that will change over time. Now, also, since the last time I was talking to you. I've had a few game crashes. The first one actually happened at the end of the last video where I um, cut the grass for the sheep with the Raberry forager wagon. And um, when I was bringing it back to the store to return it, because I'd leased it, when I pressed the square button to return it, the game crashed. And I've had a few game crashes since. Now, I don't know whether that's because I've got more equipment on the map or because it's snowing or whatever all I can tell you is I'm saving the game a lot so I don't lose a lot of progress now you're listening to this you might hear I hope you do anyway that the audio commentary is a little bit better that's because up to now in the first few videos of this playthrough I've been using the mic on the Pulse 3D headset for the PlayStation 5. Well I invested in a new microphone and I'm using it in this video for the first time today. So I hope that improves things a little bit. Also this video I see it as a kind of a fresh start for the playthrough because I want to improve the playthrough from here on in. I realized it was a bit slow, the commentary wasn't great, that's my fault, I own up to that. And I said I want to improve things, I want to improve the quality of the videos as regards to progress in the videos. Um, I want to cut out the dead air if I can. I just improve the videos in general so there's more going on and it's a more interesting experience for anybody that is kind enough to watch the videos. So going forward from this video, I said I'm going to try my best to improve the quality of the videos and I hope it works. I hope it comes through in each video. Anyway, what are we doing today? Today we're going to bite the bullet. We're going to really move on and we're going to buy the boat yard. 
I've been talking about it for long enough. Today is the day. So here goes. Uh, right. So I've already filled the trailer here with some of the material the boat yard now already needs. And the only thing that's short is the metal and the um, floor tiles, I think. Yeah, I have to buy another produc production facility in town to make floor tiles. The rolls of metal I'll bring later on. But we're going to get a start here and stock up this here. I also did find, I think, two or three of the collectibles on the map, so that gave me an extra few dollars. I'll uh, put the pictures up on the screen if I remember, so they should be appearing on screen just about now. Right. So that's the boat yard set up. So now I'm going to buy the flooring facility, the flooring factory. which I need to produce wood tiles, floor tiles for I think the roller coaster needs them as well but also the uh, boat jar so I'll see you the, at the flooring factory in a minute okay let's buy the flooring fa factory So we need this to make floor tiles. And I've got some planks over here ready to go so I can start this off. I'm not sure where this goes. I'll try around the side. Sorry mate. Or is it a mom? It's a mom. That's how it's going to take. I thought it was going to take a lot more. Only takes ten thousand liters of planks. It's already activated, so that's that's now making floor tile. We're not finished spending yet. I'm now going to go and I'm going to buy the wood turners, which is another production that I'm going to need. So I'll see you there 
in a minute. Actually, isn't it just up here? Let's check the map. Yep. I think the wood turners takes just lumber, so I'm going to cut down some more trees and stock up the wood turners. Yeah, it takes wood or planks long. Well, the wood is a better ratio, so I'm going to just bring up some uh, lumber. Right. So, I'm going to go and I'm going to cut down some more trees. I'm going to stock up the wood turning factory I'm going to um, also stock up the uh, old sawmill which is empty at the moment and I will see you when I have all that done so I'll catch you then okie dokie I'm ready to cut down some more trees here. But one thing I didn't mention earlier on when I talked about cutting down more trees to uh, fill the sawmill back up and to uh, put timber into the um, wood turners is that seeing as we're on silver run, I thought why not for a change try out some of the new equipment that's part of the Platinum expansion for FS22. So we're going to cut down these trees with the harvester. But I've decided that I'm going to use one of these, a cable yarder. Now I've leased this, I didn't buy it yet because I'm just going to try it out. Now I'll put it up here on the hill, next to my house, and what the plan is, is I'm going to run the cable down here, to one of the trees at the back. And then hopefully, I'll be able to attach the cable to the trees I cut down, and pull them out, and clear, clear an area around the cable, where the cable is attached, and then when I have that area cleared I can reattach the cable onto a tree over here and do that that's the plan if it works out that way I don't know but we'll give it a go so we unfold this I don't think we need the cable yard or attached to anything I think it's I think it's got its own generator or an engine on, on, on board right I have all my equipment here ready to go so will this attach to a tree down here. Yes, it will. Right. Now, oh, enable carriage follow mode.
disabled mode. And now we'll get the tree harvester. Now I had to repair the tree harvester again. This time it cost $21,000. So that's definitely something on the, the wish list sometime in the future to buy a new tree harvester. One with less hours on the clock. I'm going to stock up the wood turners first. So we're going to cut these into 15 meter lengths and put them onto the trailer. And when I have the wood turners filled up, I'm going to fill up the sawmill. And if you have trees left over here, I'm going to uh, fill a few containers and sell them at the container yard. Don't want that. Leave that there for now. That's better. Lift them up. Oh my god. That's not where I wanted them. I've just brought my uh, tree harvester. Let's try that again. That's actually where I wanted them. I just repaired my tree harvester. Luckily it doesn't seem to have done any damage. Well, I don't want to cut down the tree that I'm connected to.
No, that's better. Takes a bit of practice. I'm connected to this one here, so I can cut that tree down to the last one. Right, well I'm going to continue on here. And cut down some more trees. about all I can do with the snow. But like I said, I said to myself I'd, I'd give the new, uh, the new equipment a go, seeing as Ron Silver on. You know, eventually, I may end up buying a, a cable yard, but there's really no point yet. Right, I'm going to continue on here and clear out all this and stock up all the uh, production chains in town That's, which is going to take a while and I will see you then Well, that worked perfectly. It uh, did its job. We cleared out all the trees over there. There's not a tree left standing now. I've, I've cut down every tree on the land that I own. Up here and down there. The last few trees I uh, got a wood chipper and I chipped the trees and uh, sold the wood chips because the ground up there was a bit rough so I decided to do that instead of uh, going to the trouble of cutting trees and pulling them out um, the snow has finally stopped and I think that's the end of the snow, I don't think there's any more fore forecast um, for the next few months anyway which is a good thing because it didn't make the job easy trying to get up and down the the slope here with the tree harvester and the rest of the machinery it wasn't easy but 
We managed it. And with all the trees here, all the logs here, and with the snow falling earlier on, somewhere along here where this um, timber carrier is, the lag here was unreal. I mean, the, the, the frame rate must have been down to like single figures. I, uh, it's, it's not here anymore because I've actually moved some of the logs from here, but it was crazy. Yeah, you're on. Like, every time I came around here, I thought the game was going to crash. But anyway, I have a trailer loaded up and ready to go to the wood turners. I'll turn off the lights on this. We fill up the wood turners. Um, I don't know, probably might take more than one load. And then I'm going to... Uh, I don't need any of them. Fill up the um, sawmill. I just hope I'm able to get off this snow without any trouble. It reminds me a bit of Ice Road Truckers. Ice Road Loggers, I guess. Hopefully, by maybe tomorrow, the snow will have cleared up and I'll be able to uh, see if I missed any stumps. While I was cutting the trees, I ground out as many stumps as I could see. But I guarantee I've missed quite a few with the snow falling. So I'm going to bring this to the wood turners. I want to get that going. and uh, load up another load to bring to the, the sawmill. So I'll see you there in a second. And I'm not sure where this goes. Try the front. It's around here. take the full load. What, 30,000 litres? Right, I need staircase railings. So that's activated. I don't want that or that. Just the staircase railings I need for the roller coaster. Right. Knock off the uh, markers. Right, I'm going to go and fill this up again and bring it to the sawmill. Because the sawmill is completely out of lumber.
Well, we kind of got the load of lumber emptied at the sawmill. We have one of the logs hung up here. I'm going to have to get something and uh, loosen that so it comes off the trailer. Um, I think it's going to take a few more loads to uh, fill up the sawmill, yeah. So I'm going to bring some more loads before I finish up for the day to the sawmill here. So that's got timber to keep it going. And tomorrow, all going well, it's going to be another day of uh, progress in Silver Run. Because tomorrow, my plan is to uh, install a spinnery. So we can turn the wool from the sheep into fabric. I think I want to install an, another sawmill in uh, in near me uh, farm, so I can produce uh, the planks and and that that I need quicker. There's a modded sawmill that works pretty fast. I think I might get that. And depending on whether the snow goes overnight or not, I have one or two more ideas for what I want to do in the next episode. So that's that's for tomorrow. So we're at the end of another episode. I think this episode was a lot more productive and we made more progress and this episode probably in the last few episodes combined we bought the boat yard and a couple of other production chains in in uh, town and i cut down all the trees uh, on the land that i own so that's another thing i'm going to have to look and see if i can buy another plot of land because i need more trees to cut down so there's a lot to do So, I'm going to go and get something to get this out the back of the trailer. So, I'll bid you adieu. As always, if you like this episode, please hit the like button. Please consider subscribing. And if you went to the trouble of watching the video, thank you very much. See you next time.